Hello, and welcome back. This unit is on business structures. We're going to be discussing entities. Before you choose an entity, here's what you need to know. What are business entities? Well, it's how you legally structure your business. The four main entities we're going to discuss in this unit are a sole proprietorship, otherwise known as a DBA, a partnership, an LLC, a limited liability company, and corporations. There's an S Corp or a C Corp. Before choosing an entity, there's a business structure checklist that you should go through. Some of the things you need to think about when starting your business is you need limited versus unlimited liability. How do you plan on transferring ownership of the business if and when that happens? How do you plan on raising new equity capital? What do you have budgeted for organizational cost? How do you plan on paying your income taxes? And what kind of control would you like to see in the business? The first one we're going to discuss is a sole proprietor, as well as a partnership. A sole proprietor is one person owning the business. Partnership is two people owning the business. The simplest form of a business structure owned by one individual is a sole proprietor. A partnership is the relationship between two or more persons or companies in this entity. In order to file, you must go to the county clerk's office to register the name. The fees include $25 plus another four or five dollars for each certified copy. Generally needed are three copies. One for the clerk's office, one for your bank account, and one for your business in your office. With the sole proprietor, you are the business. There is no liability protection. And what that means is that you are on hook for everything. All the liability and all the financials. How do you form an LLC? An LLC is a limited liability company. You can go to the website www.dos.ny.gov. The form you look for is Articles of Organization. The requirement for forming an LLC is that you must be published in two newspapers in the county where the business is located for six consecutive weeks, specifying the details of the limited liability company within 125, I'm sorry, within 120 days of filing. The fees include a $5 charge for each name search, a $20 for reservation of the name, $200 for articles of organization, and $25 for any affidavits of publication, generally totaling up to $300 for the publication. The limited liability company gives you liability. It separates you from the business. That does not mean you personally are not going to be guaranteeing things, such as a loan or any debt that you might incur from the business. However, it means that they, whoever is coming after you, would go to the business first. Once those assets are dried up, then they might come to you personally if they are not satisfied. There are different ways in which you pay your taxes as a sole proprietor, LLC, or corporation. So you need to keep that into consideration when you're choosing. So the best thing to do is talk to an accountant about that. How do you form a corporation? You go to the same website as the LLC, www.dos.ny.gov. However, the form that you look for is the Certificate of Incorporation. The fees include $5 for each name search, $20 for the reservation of the name, $125 for the Certificate of Incorporation, and a minimum tax of $10 to cover stock insurance. 
There's other things you must do when you have an, a corporation, such as you should have a board of directors. And there are different ways in which you can pay your taxes. So again, that's talking to your accountant to make sure that you're being covered properly. All businesses must obtain the following. Your federal ID number, otherwise known as your EIN. The form is SS-4. The website is www.irs.gov. Or you can call the phone number, which is 800-829-4933. You must obtain your state sales tax form. The website is www.nystax.gov or www.cio.ny.gov slash business permit assistance as well as calling 1-800-972-1233. Before starting your business or finding a location, you must look into the permits and zonings of where you want to put your business. You can go to your local government office or you can go to the website www.dof.state.ny.us backspace info backspace index.html. Again, this is on the PowerPoint, so you can see all these websites on your screen. Why would somebody use an accountant or attorney? If you're comfortable with what an LLC or a corporation is, and how you file them, you can please do that on your own. You can save yourself some money. However, if you're uncomfortable at all, or you have any other questions, or you don't know which one would be better to pay your taxes through, an accountant and attorney will help you. You need to contact them, and you should have them on your file anyway for your business, so that if there becomes a point in time that you need to contact somebody, you know who you'd go to and you're not scrambling. Which entity is for you? Now that you know where to go for the entities, which one is for you? Take the time now to really think it over, do a little bit more research, look at the rest of the readings and materials that we posted in Blackboard, and choose the best entity for you and your business. I look forward to hearing which entity you chose and why. Thank you and have a great day.